So I'll give you a quick pan of the living room. Hey, what's up guys? It's Jess. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing my updated houseplant tour and just a disclaimer, I'm not sure if you guys have seen my previous tour back in the spring, but there will be a lot of changes. I have gotten rid of a lot of plants. I've also acquired a lot of new plants. I've also rearranged a bunch of plants. So if you see anything different, I've either gotten rid of it, it died, I've replaced it, or I've given it away. So just wanted to put that out there. I am going to start here in my living room. So I guess I'll start up here. This here is a Marble Queen Pothos. This is actually one of two that I have. The other one is down here on the other end of my TV. Super easy house plant, y'all. I only water this maybe once every month or so. I just wait until it wilts. I call these two my twins just because they are the same plant. By the way, y'all, these are trailing plants and I don't want these two to trail. So anytime that I see one starting to run, I just cut it off and stick it back down in the dirt. So love these two super easy house plants. And then back here I have a snake plant. This is a snake plant that I got from my best friend. It was actually her grandmother. So I got it from her when she passed and it has been filling in so nicely. Another easy house plant I only water maybe once a month, if that. Next, down here on the floor, we have Miss Joy. She is my pride and joy, you guys. Y'all know how much I love peace lilies. So this was my first rescue that I got. I think I got her from Lowe's. It was either Lowe's or Home Depot. She was only $5. Brought her back to life, and y'all, she has literally just been living her best life. She does have a little bit of browning coming on her edges just because I haven't been running my humidifier like I should be since I've turned the heat on. But she just came out of bloom. She actually had like six blooms. I trimmed her up this morning. She does have two left that I'm gonna leave until they turn brown, but yeah, this is my baby. This is Miss Joy. And I have just a fake Dracaena here to take up space, y'all. My ceilings are 20 foot ceilings, so this is kind of the look that I'm working with right now. And then right here I have Big Daddy. This is my largest Monstera. This is actually the first Monstera that I owned. It used to sit over in the corner that I'll show you soon. But yeah, he used to be a tabletop plant. He got too big, so now he is a floor plant. I have staked him and he is growing like a monster like literally when I first got him he had like maybe six leaves and he was only like this tall so all of this is new growth that he's pushed out within the last year or so beside him I have my plant stand that I got from home goods you guys sorry about all the shadows this is midday here up here I have a dracaena this was like the second house plant that I ever brought home it's growing nicely. This one, of course, does have browning, which is typical for these plants. I really, y'all, <laughs> I don't really pay attention to this plant. He kind of does get a little bit neglected, but still doing well, still pushing out new growth. That's a new leaf up there coming. Down here beside him, I have Gloria. This is a cutting that I took from my Hoya Carnosa. So this is a Hindu root. When I cut her initially, she only was about this long. So this whole cluster of leaves is her new growth that she's gained in a year. Beside her, I have Miss Bonnie. This is a spider plant. Bonnie is the curly version of a spider plant. She used to be way more full than this, but y'all, again, I, I kind of neglect the plants on this stand over here. She used to sit on the bottom, wasn't getting enough light, so I moved her to the top, peeled off all her dead leaves. I need to get this one off, but yeah, she's doing okay. Down here I have some propagations I did. Y'all, these have been sitting in water for literally over a year now. This is the string of hearts. And the hearts are kind of small on these. I need to get this out of water and in dirt. And I'm scared to do it just because I think it's gonna struggle since it's been in water so long, but hopefully I get around to that soon. Next I have 
a rubber plant. This is a cutting that I took from one of the plants at my job. It's not doing too much, but it's not dying, so I'm happy. And beside that, I have my oxalis. This is called, I believe, ebony. I'll put the name on the screen, but y'all, when I got this plant, it was super small. It's grown so well for me. It loves this spot. It's so full. I love the way it opens during the day and it closes up at night. Super fun to watch. Down here on the next shelf, I have just an arrowhead plant. And I also have my Prince of Orange. Let me see if I can move the leaf here so y'all can see it. This is my Prince of Orange. He is in my DIY elephant pencil holder planter. And I also have another pothos here. This is a cutting that I took from my mother's jade plant. That plant is, I wanna say she told me 29 years, 30, almost as old as I am, so yeah. Old plant, took some cuttings from it. Then I have a purple oxalis, y'all. This one is struggling. I cut it all the way back down to the soil. It pushed out a bunch of new growth, but then that growth started dying as well. So yeah, it's just chilling here. Maybe I'll move them to another location. And then I have a Horwarthia. And yeah, that's it for the plant stand. Up here on my bar area in the kitchen, I have my rescue pilea. Y'all, this plant was doing so well. It was looking perfect, like it was the perfect round globe shape that it's supposed to be. And just in the past week, I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe it's the temperature change, but y'all, these are literally dropping like flies. Like every day I've lost a leaf. They're just drooping and I don't know what's wrong. I'm thinking maybe it needs to be repotted because the baby is starting to grow a lot bigger on it, but yeah, I'm a little bit sad about that, but I think what I'm gonna end up doing is repotting it and then just cutting it all the way down to the dirt and letting it regrow. Then I also have a lemon lime pothos here. This is the cutting that I took from a coworker. This right here is my Silver Streak Peace Lily. Love this plant. This plant does get browning on the edges very, very easily, y'all. I've got to do better, y'all. I've been so focused on my plants outside. I can admit that I have been neglecting my house plants just a little bit, but it is fall now, so I'll be back on my house plant game. So yeah, love this piece, Lily. Super easy, it was in bloom. I literally just pulled the bloom off of it this morning because it was spent. These are some flowers that I got from a friend for my birthday, y'all. My birthday was last week. So yeah, love these. I'm not really a fan of cut flowers, but these are gorgeous. Love this arrangement. Here we have the very first house plant that I ever brought into my home. This is just a regular peace lily. Oh, this plant has not done anything for me. It literally looked like this when I bought it. It hasn't ever bloomed in the two years that I've had it. So yeah, it just chills here. So you guys, I just broke my gimbal, so hopefully this won't be too shaky. I'm doing this by hand. But just swinging around this way, I used to have my Bird of Paradise here where this mirror is. The mirror used to be over there by the door, so just updating you a little bit there. I'm gonna start down here on the floor. This is a Chinese evergreen aglaonema. This actually used to be one of my work plants that sat on my desk. It grew too big for my desk, so I brought it home, repotted it and it's just been living its life sitting down here on the floor. Over here, I have a philodendron Brazil. Y'all, when I got this plant from Lowe's, it was actually two small four inch container plants that I combined into one pot. And y'all, it has just taken off so fast. It's put on so much new growth and it's filling out. I cannot wait until this thing fully trails like I want it to trail like the ones up there so we will be going up there in my loft later on but yeah excited about the growth on this plant and then above that here I have another Chinese evergreen y'all I don't remember all the names so I'll put them on the screen for you if I can find them this I think is my favorite foliage plant that I own like I love love spotted leaves 
I love the speckles on this plant. Like it just, it's so pretty. And y'all, this is such an easy care house plant. I only water this plant like maybe once a month, literally. Same thing for this one beside it. I know this one is called Silver Bay. This is another Chinese evergreen, AKA Aglaonema. Doing well, just a nice lush full plant. And then above that here, I have my baby Monstera. This one actually used to sit where that Fetonia is. If y'all remember in my last tour, I had father and son. So this one took the place of Big Daddy. This is Big Daddy's old spot. It got too big. So now baby is here and he is doing just as well as Big Daddy did. He literally puts out a new leaf every week. This one just opened this morning. Love the shiny new growth on this plant. So easy. By the way, I forgot to mention all of the pots. I had some questions about my pots last video. So this one here is from Marshalls. All of these size pots you're seeing, I got on clearance from Walmart for $5 at the end of the season last year. So I've got some that have like the small lines, got some with the wider lines, and then I've also got a few with this diamond pattern. So all of those are from Walmart. Up here, as I just mentioned, this is a Fetonia Nerve plant. The pot that it's in, I believe, is from Ikea. Beside it, I have a cute little pumpkin accent from TJ Maxx. And then this plant right here is another Spathophyllum Silver Streak, AKA Peace Lily. Just came out of bloom as well. I popped the bloom off this morning and I think this pot is from CB2, I wanna say. I think it's part of my CB2 collection. It came in a set of three. Beside that, I have just a floral arrangement that I did. These flowers are from At Home and Pier One, and the vase is from Ross. Then I have a cute little pumpkin that I got from the Dollar Tree, and two Peperomia obtusifolias. This planter I got from, ooh, I think this one is from World Market. I got it on clearance. And then this one is from Ikea. Then down here on the bottom shelf, I'm not sure if y'all recall, but I used to have mama and baby. These are rhizomes that I dug out of the trash that my coworker threw away because she didn't want them. So I planted three rhizomes. Again, I had just mama and this one here was baby. From the rhizomes, I have had three grow and then I also have a new one coming. So mama is no longer mama and baby, she is mama with children. Beside that, I have a pumpkin from TJ Maxx, just says thankful. And then this right here is a birthday gift that I got last year. This is my Thanksgiving cactus. And check it out, you guys. The buds are forming for bloom. Super excited. This head planter I got from Marshalls, I believe. And then beside that, I have another head planter from Marshalls. So these two are the same. This is a bird's nest fern, just a wax warmer, and then we still have Wilbur, you guys. Wilbur has not put out a single leaf. He also has not lost a single leaf. So he's not dying, but he's not growing. So I'm gonna just let him be. This was my Silver Bay Aglaonemia that went through serious transplant shock when I had my gnat infestation. This plant used to be full like this one here but as you can see, it's lost a ton of its growth. So I'm not quite sure why it's not growing. Like I still water it. Oh, maybe this, this is a new leaf coming, you guys. Oh, I'm excited. But yeah, still have Wilbur down here. Over here, I have my Schifflera Amate. This is just the giant version of an umbrella tree. Love this plant, you guys. I think the structure on it just adds so much to this corner over here. This is actually two plants potted in one. Here is the main one, and then this right here is the second one. And this one, you guys, does have spider mites. Well, hopefully did have spider mites. I've been treating it over the last month or so. I'm not sure if you can see on camera, but yeah, it does have some spider mite damage on it, and I've been treating it with a miticide spray. Hopefully, I've gotten everything. Over here beside the door, I have another Diffenbachia. This is a Diffenbachia 
Diffenbach here. I don't know the name. If I find it, I'll put it on the screen for you guys. But I picked this one up in Henderson on my way down from a trip to Virginia. So I saw this in Walmart. Literally, I saw this all the way from the other side of the garden center and it caught my eye. Y'all check out the spotting pattern on these leaves. Y'all know I'm a sucker for a speckled leaf. So had to have this plan. I actually used to have my alocasia sitting here and that went downhill very fast. So this is the replacement. I love how it looks sitting here. I think it just fills up this space nicely. And this is what I see as soon as I come in from my garage door walking down the highway. So love this plant. Over here in my windowsill, I have my two rubber trees. I'm not sure if y'all can, lighting over here is so terrible. Let me see if I can switch to another camera lens. That's not much better, but anywho, actually I can just pick it up, how about that? There we go. This is my rubber tree. These are actually two cuttings that I took from a plant at work. Rooted them in water and they've actually been doing a little bit better. This used to sit on my plant stand. It wasn't growing at all, but now it's starting to get some height on it. Next I have a mangave. I think this one is called Spotty Dotty. This one you can't, it's like lost all of its spots, you guys. I have got to do better with my house plants, but yeah. Another easy house plant. This is a version of an agave. It is a succulent, so I only water this once a month. Beside that, I have my aloe plants. And then another two. This is the variegated version of the rubber tree. These are also two cuttings that I took from a plant at work. Rooted them in water and these have been doing amazing. Y'all, this right here, almost replaced by Joy. Not replace her. I'm so sorry, Joy. I would never replace you. I love you. But yeah, this almost, this pretty much is my new pride and joy, you guys. This right here is called a Spathophyllum sensation, AKA the largest peace lily that exists. Y'all know how much I love Y'all call me the peace lily queen for a reason. This thing is gorgeous. I saw two of these in Home Depot. Y'all, when I saw them, I almost passed out. Like, my friend was like, what is wrong with you? Are you okay? But I didn't even care about the price. I was like, get me a cart. This is coming home with me today. So love this plant. This plant is pushing out a new leaf, which I'm excited about. Looks like it's gonna be a big one. I cannot wait to see this plant in full bloom. It probably won't bloom until the spring, but yeah. Love this peace lily. My camera, y'all, is not doing it justice on the size. It is huge. Let me see. Here's the leaf. Here's my hand. So yeah, they are huge. This plant does need some water. I'm probably gonna water her right after this video. But I just love peace lilies, you guys. They do so much for a space. Here's another one. This is a giant peace lily that I rescued from Lowe's about two years ago. Still doing great. This one actually just came out of bloom. Oh, wait. Got one more bloom coming. That's exciting. But yeah, this one just came out of bloom. Actually, all of my peace lilies, even the silver streak up there, that one's never bloomed, so it never counts. But all of them were in bloom at the same time. I should have got the video done then, but y'all, I just love peace lilies. They do so much. Look how lush they are. They're just, they add so much to a room. Oh yeah, and then down here I have my Stramanthi Triostar. Y'all, I got this one to replace the other one that I used to have in my room. That one was fried, dried, crusty to a crisp, so I threw it away. Got this one to replace it because I happened to run across this one just in a random, it was kind of like a side week, not side week, sidewalk shop in a high point. And this was only $3, you guys, $3. And yes, it came like this. It came with the brown edges. I didn't care. I was gonna cut it back and just let it regrow, but I'm just gonna let it do its thing for now. But. Love that plant. I love the patterns. The back of the leaves are like a pretty pink maroon color. I just love the foliage pattern of this plant. 
But yeah, y'all, I love the foliage of these plants. I love the greenery that it adds to this room. This probably will be moving in the next month just because I do burn my fireplace in the wintertime and I can't have my plants sitting here. So these will be relocating probably in the next month or so, just temporarily for the wintertime. But yeah, that is pretty much everything I have in my living room. Let's head up to the loft area next.